Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a review and demo of the Sonia Kashuk Perfecting Luminous Foundation. And I've actually had my eye on this foundation for a while, especially since I had already tried out the Sonia Kashuk Tinted Moisturizer. Um, and this is something that's going to be a little bit lighter. It's not a foundation per se, but it's going to give you some sort of coverage. I'll link the review and demo that I did down below this tinted moisturizer. <laughs> you can call it foundation, but technically tinted moisturizer. Um, so you guys can check that out. I love this. So if you guys want to hear some more details about that, check that out. But for today, we're going to be talking about the Perfecting Luminous Foundation. And for me, for those of you who already know, I am dry skin. So anything that says luminous, dewy, glow, I'm all for it. Especially for foundation, especially for the drugstore. So this runs for about $11 at Target. That's where you can find Sonia Kasha products. So you can get it either online or in stores. The color selection is not that great. Like the tinted moisturizer, it doesn't have that many colors. The range isn't that great, especially for dark dark skin, deep skin as you get tanner. The kind of color selection, the choices, there's not that many out there. I think there's about six or seven colors. I found mine. I got mine in the color cream. I think that I was in between this one and I want to say maybe like vanilla. And vanilla felt a little bit too light for me. So cream kind of worked out pretty well for me. So the consistency of this, as you can kind of see, I kind of just pumped one little dot. And I actually like that it did come. It's not a squeeze. It's kind of like a plastic, but it comes with a pump. So that was really helpful and just really great for kind of uh, managing how much you want to pump out and how much you want to use so you don't waste as much product. And as you see, I've had my hand up for a while, so it's not exactly super liquidy, but it's not exactly a heavy formula. Actually, the consistency of this, it is going to be, or the coverage that this is going to give you, this is actually going to give you a very light to light medium. <laughs> medium buildable coverage so you can kind of add a la an extra layer to make it a little bit closer to medium but in general this is pretty light and it takes a little bit of blending and adding to kind of you know get that medium type coverage the finish of this, this is definitely going to, depending on your skin, so as it says, it's going to be a luminous finish. For my skin, a dry skin, it starts off kind of like a satin finish, but it definitely throughout the day, it becomes more and more luminous. So then again, I feel like depending on your skin, that can, if you're normal or even oily, that can go anywhere from luminous to start looking a little bit oily, greasy. Because even for me, sometimes I feel like, mm, is that luminous or is that greasy? oily um, and I tend to like that since I never have that so it's always kind of good so when normally when I just kind of add it on its own I think it's like you know kind of fine set and finish but I always tend to set my foundations or not even set before my makeup setting spray I use max fix plus it's kind of like a makeup refresher so if you feel like you're looking a little bit too powdery you know looking a little bit too dry add a little bit of fix plus and it just kind of like airbrushes everything together so that's kind of like my savior for it if I were not to use max fix plus I honestly probably wouldn't like this foundation as much it would feel more on a satin side for me so I actually um, put some max fix plus at the end of this and that just kind of brings everything together and gives me dry skin that luminous quality if you have normal to oily you might not need to do that I will say that the longevity of this foundation is actually pretty good. I wear this throughout the workday, very long workday. Put my makeup on from 7 a.m., probably get home, take it off about 7 p.m. So I wear this for a good 12 hours. And at the 7 hour mark and the 8 hour mark, it's still there. Maybe after the 8, like any normal foundation, it starts to fade a little bit. But this stays on my skin pretty well. And when I wear it, because it is a light to medium foundation, it doesn't fully cover everything. So that can be a pro or a con. However, with this foundation, I feel like for me, it's a con because for some weird reason, the first time I used it, my skin has been pretty good. I get those occasional breakouts. I tend to break out around like my chin area when I'm starting to stress and right around my forehead when I get that time of the month. But my skin has been pretty nice, you know, as I've been, you know, keeping up with my skincare routine. Before, I had a lot more blemishes, but I have kind of tend to notice where it's not perfect, but I get the occasional blemishes. Since using this foundation, when I first added it, one thing that I do not like um, I didn't have a lot of blemishes around my face but I feel like it accentuated any sort of texture I had around my face so any little bumps it just accentuated it so I was not a fan of that and then for some reason I think it has to do with any type of illuminating um, type of products from Sonia Kashuk for me personally 
I'll actually link down below the products I regret buying because I mentioned the Sonia Kashuk Illuminating Primer and I feel like that product broke me out. I stopped using it, my skin got better. And my skin was pretty good. I really didn't have a lot of blemishes, maybe just those occasionals, but at the moment it was it was doing alright. And I started using a foundation and I started getting breakouts where I normally have not been getting breakouts. So if you'll notice as I apply the foundation, I'll show you guys where like around my nose area, around other areas higher in my chin, a really big one on my forehead when it was not that time of the month. Um, and just trying to conceal those, it was a little bit harder given that this is a lighter weight foundation. So I was really trying to think, I didn't want to blame it, but I was trying to think what was I using new on my face. And this was the only new thing that I was using on my face. And while I was kind of, it's been a while since I've used it, but I've used it like for a couple weeks now but I wanted to give it a break before I did this review to see if my breakouts and my blemishes would go away and little by little they were starting to fade so I was like I have a very strong suspicion <laughs> it was that foundation so honestly foundations face products work differently for different people I know a lot of people steer clear of maybe MAC face products foundations because they say those break them out I was really afraid when I was gonna try the MAC mineralized moisture foundation uh, I thought it was going to break me out. It did not break me out. It breaks other people out. So maybe this is something that breaks me out, but will not break you out. So it's a give or take with that one. But given that it broke me out and already I was having a problem with it emphasizing any little thing on my face, it just emphasized those items even more. The tool that I've been using the most to apply this product is the Beauty Blender, mainly because <laughs> it's not full on, you know, luminous, dewy. So Beauty Blender helps with that in general with my dry skin, but also because it does accentuate, you know, blemishes and little bumps that I might have on my face. With a brush, since it's not as sponge-like, it that accentuates that even more. So for me personally, I've been liking the Beauty Blender, but if you were to use a brush, then that would definitely help build the coverage even more overall I honestly think this product is okay I'm not a huge fan of it I like it I don't love it I don't mind using it but it's not something I I specifically reach for all the time there's you know some pros and some cons from it but overall I wasn't overall impressed by this foundation and but therefore I feel like it could work you know in some people's favors over others so for me it's not something that I'm gonna have in my favorites list or anything but it's something like if I had it, it's the only thing I had I wouldn't mind Mind using it so let me know if you guys have tried this foundation if you liked it if you didn't like it how you felt about it if it broke you out if it broke you out let me know then it's definitely this foundation I don't like to blame face products and everybody's face is different but hey it could be something with the illuminating qualities and I could totally see that but regardless I'm glad I tried it you know now I can kind of scratch it off my list um, it's not a total waste I didn't mind it but then again it's not something I'm going to constantly recommend to people but I'm interested if you have normal to oily skin how it affected you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know if there's some other products that you want to know a little bit more about for me to review. Maybe some dry skin foundations. I'm always on the lookout for foundations that are great for dry skin that you guys think are really great and you think I should check out because especially if they're drugstore, I love to find affordable products. But if they're high end, I guess I wouldn't mind. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.